everybody. Welcome to NSC TV, your behind the scenes look at the National Sports Center. I'm your host, Scott Clayson, and as you can see, today we are outside the Schwann Super Rink, where in late April we will once again be hosting our annual spring ice show put on by our skating school program. And for one particular skater who has grown up skating in our program, this will be her very last show she'll be competing in. We're going to tell you her story in a couple of minutes. But first, this last weekend here at the Schwann Super Rink, we were honored to host the very first annual Cops vs. Kids charity hockey game. This was between police officers from Blaine versus the Blaine Bantam boys team. So NSC TV was there. Let's take a look at all the fun action and what they were playing for. My name is Tom Johan. I'm a detective with the Blaine Police Department. And we're holding a charity hockey game where police officers from around Anoka County are playing Bantam age youth hockey players from Blaine Youth Hockey. We did it to raise some money in the community to give back to charities and be able to give to families. This is our inaugural event and we hope to have more events similar to this and if this is successful this year we're definitely going to try it again next year and just keep trying to make it bigger. Prior to the game we're going to have a silent auction where we have several prizes we're going to auction off including signed jerseys and sticks from professional hockey players as well as items being donated by businesses around the community. In between the first and second period, we're going to have an on-ice shootout for $10 a person where you have a chance to win wild tickets for the upcoming game against the Rangers. And at the end of the second period, we're going to do chuck a puck where people buy pucks and the person closest to center ice gets half the proceeds raised. We are going to give a donation to a Blaine Youth Hockey family in need in which a family member has some medical problems and then we're also going to give a donation to Jack's Baskets which is a foundation that the Blaine High School Hockey Coaches family runs for Down Syndrome families. I'm a member of the Blaine Police Federation Board and we were looking to do some charity events throughout the community so we're able to give uh, donations to community members and this was a way we decided we could come up with some money to be able to do that. We like to show the members of the community that we're normal people and that we're here to help them. We like to be able to give back. We're excited to see the kids be able to have fun and interact with the police officers and it's just nice for people to know that we want to be able to give back to the community. I think it's important because most people only see the police during their darkest times in their lives when most people aren't making the best decisions and it's important for people to know that we're here in positive times too and we're here to help people. We're here to make sure the community is safe and to have fun and we want kids to know that they can rely on us. Well, as you can see, the cops and the kids seem to have a great time at that hockey game and of course they raised a lot of money for some great causes. Now, like we mentioned at the top, we are hosting our annual Spring Ice Show, April 24th and 25th over here at the Schwann Super Rink. Now, this features skaters who are in the Northern Blades Skating Club, as well as those who are part of our Learn to Skate program. And for 18-year-old Mary Brickner, this will be the very last time that she'll be participating in our show. Now, she grew up coming through our Learn to Skate program, so NSC TV talked to her about her experiences and what it's gonna be like to be in the show one last time. Mary has been with our program the longest. She has been skating in our ice shows for 12 years and this will be her her last show. She's one of our seniors in this show this year. I think she probably started private lessons in about 2006 and actually she started those with me and she's been with me this entire time so the show's gonna be very sad this year when Mary is all done. Well I started like skating in my backyard for a few years because my brother and sister played hockey and then I eventually got into the Learn to Skate program and progressed through till now. My primary coach is Anna and I've been with her since I was in Learn to Skate pretty much so for the past like eight or so years and then I have another coach named Karen and I've had her for the last like four or five years. I, know, I have really good relationships with them especially with Anna because I've had her for so long and they're just really supportive and helpful. I've done 12 ice shows here and this will be my last one. Once you kind of pass through Learn to Skate, you're like technically in like the freestyle levels, so like we're like the Northern Blades Club, and that's when I kind of like started competing and like representing them. Once you get past Learn to Skate and just kind of the basics, like for me at least, like jumping wasn't really my thing, so it's been 
hard to overcome that, especially like you need to have certain jumps to pass tests and if you don't land them during the test you have to keep retaking them and you have to fail. So it's been hard. I love how it's challenging but it's also like really rewarding. Like when you are finally successful it feels really good. In the show this year she's doing four numbers. She is doing the opening number which um, the kids can sign up if they've done a competition in the past year. So they'll wear a competition outfit, so lots of sparkle, and do that in a group number. And then she will do a group number with um, other skaters that have passed the same test as her. She will do another group number um, with a larger group. It's called an additional number where we group a couple different levels together. And then she's also doing father-daughter this year with her dad. They definitely have gotten like like more of a production I think and a lot like more choreography and costumes and lighting and stuff which has been cool to see. I'll have like a three minute program to music and I'll have like certain elements that I need to have in it and you just kind of put that together. My solo is Vienna by Billy Joel and I'm really excited about it because I really like that song and I got to pick it this year so I'm excited. Focusing mostly on things that I'm more like comfortable with and like adding like more cool choreography, I guess, so that I'm comfortable when I'm out there. Um, as the girls prepare for the show, when you would ask any of them, they're going to say it's their favorite part of the year. They like the costumes, they like skating with their friends. Um, skating is such an individual sport, so this is a time where they get to kind of do stuff together and work on numbers together. Um, a lot of the kids are in multiple numbers, um, three or four. So it's just a fun time for them to do something as a group instead of as an individual. I think it's fun to just kind of be able to like work in groups with your friends and spend time with them because you're usually like competing against them but this time you get to kind of have fun with them. It will be April 24th at 7 and 25th at 1 and 7. It'll be up in rink 4 and it's the full deal. We've got spotlights and glitter and costumes and music and solos and all sorts of cool stuff. Well, of course, we wish Mary the best of luck as she participates in the Spring Show and to all the participants who will be part of this great event. And that's going to do it for this week's episode of NSC TV. As always, find us on our website, nscsports.org. I'm your host, Scott Clayson.